what is going on guys it's mr duck one two three here and welcome back to another video and in today's video we are going to be doing uh infinite warfare multiplayer now i know that i have been doing a lot of this lately and that is because you guys really do seem to like it so um i am uploading a lot more as i possibly can but today it's going to be a bit different today i am going to do a preview for a series that i am starting pretty soon and that is uh the weapon comparison series now, um, I hope I'm not copying anybody, um, but the reason the reason for this is because, like, I like, because um, all these weapons, they're really close to each other, and none of them are really bad. So, uh, we have a bunch of weapons here that we are going to test out. So, we're going to start off with the first one, which is the TF-141, alright? So, it's basically, this is probably the weapon that I'm going to start off with in my uh, uh, series that's going to be starting soon. Uh, it's probably going to start in, like, a week or so, but... Uh, this is the TF-141. Uh, this is a very good weapon so far. Uh, I've actually never used it. I saw it in the sniper class, and I thought, hey, I'm going to use this. So, uh, so far, damage, really good. Accuracy, amazing. Um, the only problem that I really have with it is, uh, oh, and one more thing to mention, that uh, the bolt action has to be fast for me. Now, uh, the only thing that I don't like about this is... Um, it's sort of uh, how off it is, like when you shoot, it's kind of off, like uh, when you, after you are, after you're finished shooting, uh, you kind of like get off the enemy a little bit if you have it on like health, like 130, and you'll get a hit marker and it'll go off the enemy a, bit, a little bit, it'll go back on, but uh, sometimes it's, that's just not quick enough, it has to be as quick as a snap in order for you to die, so right? So, um, the TF-141, definitely a thumbs up for me. Um, now the next thing we are going to be testing out is the, uh, Onis. Um, it's not really something that we're going to be focused on, uh, but, uh, you guys know I like the Onis. They're really cool, uh, especially with dual wheel. But the next weapon that we have is the Bulk. Uh, once again, these are all customized, but, um, the thing is, in my weapon comparison series, they are not going to be customized. They're going to be just versus each other, all right? So, um, so the Bulk... Uh, and the Hornet, alright? So we have the Hornet. Now, we all know, uh, how much I love the Hornet. The Hornet is amazing. Stings like a bee. And it, it's really damage. It's powerful. Uh, the accuracy is, uh, like, quite off. But, um, it's semi-automatic. Oh, and the Specialist. Yes, this is another thing. Um, this is the Ballista EM3, I think. Um, oh, yeah, this is, yeah. Um, very, very slow. Um, uh, damage, amazing, accuracy, pretty good, um, the only thing I have, oh, and the range, also very good, that's the one thing I keep forgetting, but, um, the only thing I have about, the only problem I the ha that I have about the Ballista EM, EM3 is, um, it's really slow, like, like, you're, you're aiming on an enemy, and as soon as they walk, like, they just take a step. Uh, backward or like um, to the side and the second you press the trigger um, it'll take like a half a second to fire so that's the only thing that I um, don't like about that but once again uh, the Hornet very good uh, same same with this uh, very 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 good uh, Volk is definitely a class that I recommend using if you are a uh, you know damage type of person that you like to uh, have fast fire rate, and this is one of those weapons with that fire rate that could just get you uh, a lot of kills in one sitting, alright? So, if you're looking to get for a lot of kills on multiplayer, or even in zombies, if you're getting to a lot of scenes, I would definitely recommend the Volk. Even pack-a-punching this thing in zombies, I would definitely recommend that. Now, the next thing on our list is the MV4. Now, as you guys may recognize on my other videos of Inf Infinite Warfare multiplayer, I never had the MV4 as a class. So, I am curious to see what it's like on, in multiplayer. I, notice, I know it is in campaign. But I would like to see what it is like. Now, once again, the Ani, uh, I'm going to be focusing on this a little bit because um, it's only a one. Uh, it doesn't have a Kimbo on it. Now, um, the reason why I usually have a Kimbo on the Anis is because the damage is not really the best on the Ani. And, oh, the Ani, yeah. Um, but um, I really like the accuracy for the Ani. Uh, uh, the Ani is one of the weapons that you can get sitting on the bench for 750 uh, on the, on the bench, like I just said, but, uh, 750, the damage, really good, uh, it's, 
it's only 40, but um, the fast fire rate, that's all you really need. Accuracy, accuracy and fire rate and range is all you need. Uh, the damage doesn't even really matter at all. But uh, now we're going to, the NB4, like I said, um, I haven't tested it out yet. But um, I have never used it, so I'm curious to see what it's like. Now, it uh, looks like the MV4 uh, has very nice damage accuracy through the roof. Like, this thing, you can get spot-on headshots from, like, 10 miles away, I swear. Now, this thing is similar to the Illuminated Denimator from BO3. Um, I forget what his name is. The ICR. And um, it's very similar to that because it has 45 bullets uh, normally. Um... If you pack a punch it now, um, I'm pretty sure this thing only has 30 when you don't have extended mags on this, and this is what I actually have is extended mags. So uh, I'd say it's very, very similar, very close to the ICR. Um, I definitely uh, recommend this. Another uh, recommended class from me to you. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this is because so you guys can get the right, uh, you know, weapon layout. And I'm doing, I'm testing out the weapons so you guys don't have to, unless you want to. I mean, you can, but if you want to, you're probably not watching this video right now. But uh, once again, the Ballista EM3 uh, range, amazing. Uh, very slow though. Um, I mean, it's probably because of the bolt on it. Uh, because the ballista does have a bolt, I think. But, um, yeah, this class, definitely a thumbs up for me. Now, the next class that we're going to be heading on to is the Widowmaker. Now, as you all know, uh, this is a sniper that I use in a lot of my classes. Now, the Widowmaker, it's a two-fire, uh, which means it is, like, uh, it's, it, it's actually, the damage is actually probably worse than the TF-141. And that is actually really odd because, well, what is it in the name of the clap in the, um, when you scroll over it to the, not, not scroll, if you're on PSC, you put your cursor over it, but, um, for this, when you put, like, when you, uh, select the, the class, it'll say that it's a two round, uh, two round fire, um, like, just instantly, it pops out instantly, so it's a two round fire, and it's a bolt action, and uh, the reason why I never used it is because I didn't see bolt action in the title. Because usually at the start of every uh, like uh, saying that they have to say about the weapon, it'll say bolt action the first thing that they uh, say about it. But that's why I didn't uh, use it. But um, also the type the type two also another weapon to be focused on because I haven't used it too much. But the type two good in accuracy. Uh, it's just below average of damage and the. The clip size, it's uh, it's better than the Volk, but the Volk only needs 28 bullets because its damage is amazing. But this is sort of below average damage, and the only problem I have about that is um, because I'm a damage kind of guy, once again. But uh, this class, once again, thumbs up for me. Uh, now the next thing we're going to be, or the next class that we're going to be checking out is the S Ravage. This is the shotgun that I said in my previous Infinite Warfare multiplayer gameplays that I am totally going to use this. And guess what? I did not lie. I am using it right now. So it looks like the damage is through the roof already. Um, the, not the best on range, I guess, because I just shot him from like two feet away and it wasn't a one shot KO. But this thing, uh, uh, another problem I have about it is the slow pump. Now the pump, um, I know most shotguns have a, a pump, but, um, they're usually not as slow as this and it, it causes you to unscope while you're, uh, in the middle of pumping. So that's another problem with it. But, uh, other than that, the damage is really good. Accuracy, really good as well. Um, the range, not the best, definitely not the best. I mean, no shotguns are really supposed to have good range at all, but, um, yeah, that's, that's definitely a thumbs up. The S Ravage, really good weapon. I'd say that's an average weapon, but if you're, like, camping out, I'd, I'd recommend that's a weapon that you use, uh, for close range if they, like, come up to your face, but, um, I recommend, like, laying down with this, right, so that way they kind of can't see you, but... Um, once again, the next, uh, thing that we have here is the Hornet. Now, you all know the Hornet is amazing. It's, a semi- it's, a fully automatic. But, um, yeah, the next- the next loadout that we are going to be checking out is the KS- or the KBS Longbow. Now, I have actually- I don't remember the last time I tested this weapon out, but I do know it has a very slow bolt action already, and it causes you to unscope. Now, unlike many snipers, when you bolt action, like, or when you're in the middle of bolting, it won't cause you to unscope. Now, that is definitely not the case with the KBS Longbow. Now, the damage, it's- it's pretty good. I'll- I'll give it that, but, uh, the accuracy- 
The, the accuracy is also really good. Um, the range, I'm not really mentioning about the snipers because snipers don't really need range. Um, but this thing, I'd say, uh, I'd say chest, like, right to the heart and up. Um, but, but that being anywhere, uh, by the heart section and up. So, yeah, um, that's definitely, it's a good, it's a good sniper, but I, I wouldn't recommend using it because, um, uh, mo most likely because of the slow bolt. But the next weapon that we are going to be checking out is the M1 now. Uh, the M1, it's basically like a low-powered sniper. Now, if you take a look at this thing, as you see, the damage is actually pretty good on this for, for like, a shotgun. But, um, this is actually one of the classics, so I guess it wouldn't be considered a shotgun. But it is a one-fire. And the only, another problem that I have about this class is, um, you cannot reload in the middle of uh, your ammo clip. Now, I don't know why this is. Maybe this is because it would be really OP if you were able to reload in the middle of your clip. But other than that, very good damage, very good accuracy, uh, pretty good range as well. Uh, if you shoot them at far range, uh, you'll probably get still two or three uh, hits and it'll be dead. So yes, this class is definitely thumbs up. Now we got the P-Law. I don't know what this is. I think it's a launcher. Uh, what is this? Oh my god, that's, that's, that's just, like, pure awesomeness there. But, uh, this class, it's, 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 it's a pretty good class. I mean, uh, the only thing about this class is, uh, you know, this weapon, but, uh, this weapon's actually pretty good. Uh, not the best in range, uh, like I would expect it to be, but it's really good. So, yeah, thumbs up for me for that class. But now, for the last class that we have, it's gonna be the Rack 9, alright? So, the Rack 9 is another shotgun. I have, a three shotguns in this uh in this uh preview for my weapon comparison but uh once again range not the best i shot a person from far range and didn't really work but once again i don't expect shotguns to have long range like that but other than that uh the damage really good up close uh i would recommend camping out with this weapon if you put like long barrel or something um actually no i wouldn't because it just took like three shots and it didn't even kill the person from like 10 feet away so I would not uh, I would recommend this class for like a uh, high if you're looking to get a lot of points like against like hackers on online or stuff like that I wouldn't recommend this but we do have this thing wait what is this called this is called the K bar 32 now I actually haven't heard about this weapon I have never tested it I've never tried it uh, and I've never heard about it so um, I hope it to be good yep there it is so very good fire rate I if you guys, if you guys know me, I'm a one-shot person, but when I have assault rifles or anything like that, um, I, I need fast, uh, fire rate. Uh, if I don't have fast fire rate, uh, that's basically the end of the world for me, but, yeah, this weapon, very good, very good in range, very good in accuracy, very good in damage as well, um, so yeah, that, this class, definitely another thumbs up, basically all weapons are a thumbs up for me. Um, but yeah, once again, I do have something to, uh, whine about, uh, the Rack 9, uh, damage is good up close. Now, the thing about this weapon is, um, well, I mean, the pump is fast. Like, the pump is really fast. Um, but it just takes a moment for the gun to come back down after you shoot it. But, uh, so yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this video and you would like to see, uh, the full, the full, um, extension of this preview for the new series that's going to be coming up in about a week, um, my, uh, weapon comparison class, um, uh, be sure to leave a comment down below if you want to see like another preview before that uh, that way I can test out some other classes for you guys but anyway if you enjoyed this video please be sure to drop a like and subscribe to become a part of the duck family and I will see you guys in the next video for some more peace out